hello everyone welcome back in the previous lecture we have done the uh, basic of the integration or the s node and also we have seen the integration uh, app connect enterprises is installation and we have done everything from the scratch now we are going to in this lecture we are going to create the first message flow and this is also we are going to uh, start from the uh, beginning to the higher level the in this lecture what i am going to uh, cover let me quickly uh, brief you firstly i am going to show you some uh, basic concept of this pro integration node or the application and the message flow that i have already covered in the previous lecture but still i am going to go through it after that i am going to create the message flow in the five step in the first step i am going to create the integration node and the uh, integration server and application and in the second step i am going to create the message flow in the third step i am going to create the queue manager and the queue in the fourth stage i am going to deploy the message flow and the fifth stage i am going to test the message flow so these are the five step i am going to follow while creating the message flow from starting to the in till the testing of message flow okay so let's start it first of all if you are talking about the integration node or the s node already already you know that integration node is the, is the building of the all the things like that the integration server application and the message flow because it is the one which help us to in the transformation in the providing the resource to the integration server or the applications this is this is the one uh, uh, medium for the providing the resource and helping it to in the transformation and uh, modification these all thing in bro integration node or we called simply as a broker help us in the in in the uh, or uh, now we are also calling as a is node okay so, uh, these are this help in in the all the things under the because we actually ulti, ultimate ultimate goal is, goal is to message flow so we can we if we create the directly inside the uh, integration node the message flow it, the, the flow will be uh, the structure will be little will bulky okay to avoid the bulky we have categorized and the things and we have distributed things like that the, under the integration node we have created the five eg like that and the 5 eg has different different uh, uh, flow like that 5 eg first eg is for the different uh, flow and the second eg for different flow and the third eg is for the different type of uh, business requirement and uh, fifth eg is for the different type of business requirement there is 5 eg under the 5 eg we can we have created the five application first application is for the uh, let's take example for the uh, invoice second application is for the um, uh, like that you can set it for the purchase order third application is for the sales order and the fourth application is for the um, you can set it like that any other transactions and uh, detail and the uh, similarly many application can be created inside the each applications okay and uh, it's similarly for the other eg we can create the many application under the application we used to create the message flow we are where we used to write the code and design the flow as per the business requirement for business has given us the justification this is the simple logic that we use while we are while we are creating the message flow so if anyone said that message flow is present in which in is present in where you can uh, you can say it simply like that inside the application we used to create the message flow an application is present inside the integration server or you can say that execution group and similarly integration server is present inside the integration node okay now coming to the creation of the message flow if you're talking about the creation of the message flow okay so initially i actually i have just done the installation i have not created any integration node or i have not created any uh, integration server i have not created any application so i need to create i need to create all these things because this is the first time i am going to create so i need to create everything like that queue manager queues everything i need to create so that's the reason i have decided divided into the it's the five step like that the creation of the integration node instead of the integration server and application and the message flow and the queue and queue and the message flow and the and later deploying and after the, after the deploying we used to test the message flow whether it is working or not okay 
so let's start from the step one okay for this we are uh, for the console we are using we are going to use the app connect enterprises console that is the AS console AS12 console and the, for the development of the message flow i am going to use this tool and i already explained you this tool is divided into the four section the section one section two and section three and section four this section is used to create the application integration services rest api library and these all things and this section is used to uh, create the message flow and uh, design the message flow write the esql code these all thing we used to in this area in this area we used to set the property of the uh, uh, nodes you can like that like the mq input node mq output node and these etc all nodes properties we used to set here and apart from that we can get the deployment log also here in in case we are deploying from the application from here to here you will get the all log these all things here okay here we here all the thing like that this thing like that uh, integration server integration node integration server and application and the message flow these all thing are present in uh, this part here we will get the integration node integration server or uh, application and the message flow these all thing and we used to deploy deploy the application into this area okay and this is all about now coming to the uh, queue manager the, for the queue manager we are going to use the ibm mq explorer uh, ibm webster mq explorer and here we, we used to create the message uh, uh, queue manager here here we used to create the queue manager and uh, queue and uh, these all thing the queue properties like that you can set here and this is help us this is actually uh, we used to create the queue queue is help us in the messaging service and it uh, basically used to help the uh, is while if you are developing any application that we used to uh, use the queue because queue is help us in the messaging service now let's start it the first uh, as per the our step it is the creation of s node integration server and application because you know uh, if we are creating the application we used to we used to deploy the application inside the uh, integration server so we need to create the integration node integration server and the uh, application these all things so before creating the application we need to create the uh, integration node and integration server so let's create the integration node so either we have to uh, either you can create using the commands that is the mqsi uh, create and uh, mqsi create uh, used to create the integration node something like that command these all thing i have covered into the lecture series of mqsi okay now here we are going i am going to use the console to create itself so if you want to create the okay, integration node just you have to right click here connect to integration node it will come like that you have to give the host name port name username password okay host name port name username password okay let me right click here this okay i cannot create integration node from here here itself okay let me see if i can create no i cannot create it so i need to create the integration node from the command itself i need to run the command to uh, i need to run the command to uh, create the integration node because integration node uh, creation is not supported using the IBM applicant enterprises toolkit we can create the execution group from here itself but it is not uh, supported to create the integration node from the toolkit itself so let's use the console to create the integration node so if you want to create the there is a command mqsi create broker because we are creating the broker we are creating the broker you know that integration uh, node is also called as a <coughs> broker or so we used to create the broker the mqc create broker and write the broker name the, you, i am creating that this is of uh, is let's uh, is node let's write it as a is node i am write, write, uh, writing as a because it is a is node so i am writing the node name as a is node okay let's create it now it will take it some time and it will create the broker 
now successful command completion has been done and the my, my broker has been created now let's test if you want to test the uh, broker has been created or not you have to just simply do the mqsi list mqsi list will list all the integration node or the is node present inside the it okay so let's wait for the command to completion now see integration node that is the ace node is stopped so i have created once you create it it will be in a stopped state and you need, you need to start it so what is the command to start it the mqsi start mqsi start and that is the ace node now i have fired the command to start the node currently i am creating this thing let me show you this here uh, currently i am creating this thing that is the broker or call integration node under integration node i am going to create the integration server so to create the integration node i just fired a command that is the mqsi create broker and the broker name that i am to create after successful completion command i used to check the whether it is created or not so for that i have run the command the mqsi list an mqsi list has listed that this integration node is created but currently in a stopped state so i have fired the command that is the mqsi start and the broker name that is the ace node so that uh, it will start the it will start the uh, broker after now let's check it again it is started or not so I'll fire the command the mqsi list it will list the broker status and the, all the broker present inside the let see integration node this with the administration this url is running okay so now integration node this is currently in the running state you can see it in running state and this is the url for the integration node you can hit this url in the google chrome it will give you the output so let me hit this url in the google chrome itself let me open the google chrome Now let me hit the URL. Now IBM apt connect enterprise it is opening. So let's wait it. Now you can see this is open. Currently there is no app EG present, there is no integration server present. So it is not showing anything, but it you can see it is uh, currently opening. Okay. The S node is, is now currently opened. You can uh, open this URL once it is running then you pin this url into google chrome and it will give you the output of the uh, and you can do a start stop everything from here itself also okay now coming to the this step has, step has been done that is creation of uh, integration node you can see from here itself now integration node will be visible if i refresh this you can see s node is currently present it is in up state now from here you can create the integration server our we have another option you can create the uh, fire the command that is the mqsi create execution group and this command help you to create the execution group and or you can set that integration server but now i am going to use from here itself to create the integration server now if you want to create the integration server just click new integration server right here the uh, integration server name this is the first integration server I am going to create. So I am writing it as a first EG. You can write any name as per your convenient. Now it is going, it is creating. It will take some time to create it. Now you can see it is created. Currently it is in a stop state. So you need to start it. It will take some time to start so let's wait it now we have created the integration server itself now 
application thief next i am going to create after that i am going to create a message flow because here i have created the as node i have created the integration server now i am going to create the application now it is you can see it is up state because arrow is up you can see also you can see from here itself it is up because if i show you mqsi list and the as node it will list all the integration server present inside it now you can see the integration server first eg on the integration node as node is running you can see from here itself it is also running now coming to the creation of the application now we have to create the application because under the application we have the message flow okay the before creating the message flow we need to create the application so let's create the application so to create the application we have to what we have to do we have three way to create either you have to just click here it will give you to create the application name either click here new and it will give you to create the application name and write here the application name and there is a th other way just click here new and it will give you give the application name there are, there are three way to create first here second here and the third year okay let's choose any one i'm just using this new okay let's here uh, right here the application name it is, as it is a first application my first application so right here like uh, my first application my first anything you write as per your choice my first app i have written here and just click on finish now my application is created okay so now i have created the application itself i have created the integration node i have created the integration server i have created the application now inside the application we have the message flow okay so i have created the message flow now i have to create the message flow so in the first step the creation of the integration node integration server and application has been done now the step two we are moving toward the step two that is creation of the message flow okay now let's create the message flow to create a message flow what you have to do you have to just here click on the new then there is an option there is a message flow just click on that message flow it will give you the write the message flow name okay so this is the my first message flow so i am writing the here then i uh, my my first msc flow and here is a uh, by you can use the default broker schema but it is uh, always prefer to uh, write the schema name uh, while writing the code it will be very much helpful so I, either you can uh, just click on tick and it will be used the default or either you can write anything it is up to you but i i always prefer to write the schema name so let me, me write the uh, schema name the first like that first uh, msg flow okay just click on finish It will take some time because it is creating the message flow. After that, we are going to see the message flow. So let's wait it. Now you can see my message flow has been created. So this is my application. The my first app is the my application. Under the application, we have the flow, or you can say the message flow. And this is the schema you can see my first message flow the schema that i have created under that schema there is the my message flow the my first message flow dot msg flow okay so i have created the integration node that is the ace node i have created the integration server that is the first eg i have created the application name that is my first app and under the application we have created the message flow whose name is the my mess my first message flow a spelling i have written uh, wrong leave it with no problem f l o w is the flow but uh, i have written the f o w let's ignore it 
and the and this message flow I have created inside the schema that is the my first uh, first MSG flow okay now it's time to design some a small flow okay so I have created the message flow itself I have created the message flow but uh, this is the blank message flow I have not uh, configured or designed anything so it is always prefer to uh, design something if you always prefer to uh, make something uh, useful so let's design the message flow and see if uh, working or not so i am going to create a simple message flow where i am going to use the mq input node where i am going to send some message in mq output node i am going to get some message for it i am going to use the three node that is the mq input node to get the message mq output node uh, mq input node to send the message mq output node to get the message and the mq compute node some message transformation if required so let's add the node either we have to uh, all nodes is present here you can see error handling the all thing is present here you can get every node from here itself email node something loads every node you will get from here itself IBM MQ node you can see here is the MQ input node is present so we have two option either you have to click right click here and add node or you can search directly MQ uh, MQ input node and directly drag it from here okay and uh, directly choose, choose from here and either is option to uh, directly drag from here and just put it okay i have to choose the mq output node itself so let me select this input node to do like that add node mq and just select the mq output and click on okay now it is capable now let's use this now if you want to just what we have done you want to save it just click on save it or you can do control s okay now here here you can see there is th failure node there is the output node and there is the cache node regarding the failure node and cache node you don't need to worry about that for now i am going to discuss this thing in the later section but uh, for now ignore it okay and this is the output node where from where message will once the message we throw into this node it will going to outside and this is the input node where we are going to get the message again we have again we have the failure node and the out node if you want to set again out from here itself you will get it now let's use the compute node just search compute compute will get the compute node compute node is the node which help us in the transformation of the message if required you can write the code inside the compute node because compute node help us in the transformation of the message okay so let's drag and connect the terminal and from here you just also connect the terminal now it is connected okay now you can just select like that and you can fit it anywhere okay now this is done my simple message flow has been created where we are sending some message to the, the here mq input node and we are getting message from here and if required we can do some code now coming to the if i click here you can see there are lots of properties is there that is mq node basic things and the uh, mq connection mq input parsing parsing option and uh, advanced validation security instance and uh, these all things is present you for now you don't need to worry about that because uh, we are going to cover each thing in the upcoming section so you don't need to worry about that similarly in the mq output node we have the lots of the thing is present you can see in the properties again this thing i am going to cover in the upcoming session so you don't need to worry about that now coming to the compute node in the compute node we have the again same thing that is data source name that is the this all thing is present and the validation and the monitoring these all things present so again this thing i am going to cover in the upcoming section so you don't need to worry about that but for now to complete the message flow we have some error is coming that if you can see here is cross is coming here also cross is coming and here also cross something cross is coming okay so how we can complete this so if i click on here you can see we have option in the basic we have to option to put the queue name what is the queue first if you if you don't know let me give a preview the queue is the like a container 
which is like a container or which help us in the messaging service okay let me give a brief let's take a scenario scenario where is a someone is sending a message to a particular container some is some someone is sending some message to a particular queue okay from that queue we can route the message to the another queue and from another queue another application is let's take a scenario there is application a which is sending some message to the this queue okay further we can do some transformation in the message whatever what is sent by the application a and after that we can send the message to the that is the mq output from mq output application b will take it the scenario is like that application is sending some message and application b required that message but it requires some transformation or it you can say that without transformation it is also okay uh, application a is sending and application b is required that message but application a and application b they can then no cannot directly connect uh, connect it and cannot directly communicate it for that we have introduced the integration and for that we have introduced the message flow in message flow we will used we used to write we will write the queue name of the source that is here and the destination in the here itself okay and the source we are going to send some message and destination we are going to get some message so for before that we need to create the queue then how we can create the queue that's coming to the third step the creation of queue because q is present inside the q manager because q is the objects of the q manager so let's create the q manager and the q itself for that i am going to use the ibm webisphere mq explorer for the creation so you need to create the q manager and the q my my final motive is to create the q but for the creation of the q we need to create the q manager because the q is the object of the q manager because q is present inside the q manager so we need to create the q manager it's first then the q for the creation of the q manager we have to just right click here and the click on the new and there is just on the q manager Right here the queue manager name that you want to create. So I am writing the queue manager name as the QM1. That's the enough. I am writing the queue manager name as a QM1. This all thing I have already explained in my MQ uh, tutorial. If you want to know it, if you want to get it, you can use that. But uh, this all thing I have explained in detail. What is the letter queue? What is the maximum handle? It, these all thing I have explained. Just click on next. Is a circular logging and the linear logging is also I have explained in the uh, my MQ tutorial. So you don't need to uh, if you want to uh, know more about this, you can just go through the tutorial and get it. Okay. Now just click on next. Next here you have to give the listener port name. The I one four one four that is uh, by default the listener port and leave it listener because I don't have any other measure. So this is my the first mass uh, measure I am going to create. That's the reason I am going to uh, create the uh, listener port and the just click on the finish it will take some time to create some of the queue manager You can see creating the queue measure, starting the queue measure, and the configuring the listener. These all things are uh, done in the back um, uh, in the background, so you don't need to care about that. Now my queue measure is created, and it is currently in up state. If you just click on here, you can see under the queue manager we have the queue, topic, subscription, channel, listener, services. These all things are present inside the queue measure. So that's the reason we called it as a Q is the object of the queue manager QM1 and the Q topic subscription channel. These all things are the object of this queue manager QM1. Okay, so my motive is to create the queue. So for the creation of queue, we have to choose this thing. Why we are create why we are creating queue? The reason is that because we want to send some message to this queue in one queue, and we want to get some message to the other queue. That's when we are we are supposed to create the queue. So let's create it the queue. If you want to create the queue, just 
just right click here and the create the local queue about the what is local queue what is alias queue what is remote queue these all thing you can get from my uh, mq series these all thing is explained in detail again i'm going to just create the local queue because local queue has some storage capacity where we can store message that's reason we are i'm using the local queue now write here the queue name because i am uh, using that like that uh, in dot local because this queue i am going to use to send message get mass send message that's the reason i am using the in just click and just click on finish again there is a queue i am going to use for the getting message that's the reason i am going to use the out out dot local you can write any name as per your convenient it is not uh, necessary to write like that you can write any name so i just have created two queue that is the in dot local and the out local local in dot local i am going to use here and the out dot local i am going to use here because in dot local i have written the name in like that in means coming inside and out means going outside so application is sending some message to the in dot local and the and it is coming through the compute node it is going to the out dot local from out dot local any application that is linked it will take that message okay for now there is no application is linked so i just i am trying to explain you and trying to uh, so that you can get the things you can uh, you can understand the things that reason i am just explaining like that ki there is application a that is sending some message to the in, uh, in dot out <coughs> in dot q in dot local and there is application b which is expecting that message and it will take message from the out dot uh, local so let's write the q name here itself in the basic i am going to write the in dot local if i click and just click on save the error will be gone currently you can see there is a cross option if i just click us and save it you can see error has been gone okay now just go to here also you can see there is a also error let's clear write the queue name also error will be gone out dot local now just click on save now you can see error has gone now in also error is present in the compute node just click on here now you can see this is the area where you used to write the uh, esql code and what are the code you want to do the transformation what are the code you want to do modification these all code you used to write here itself these are the some default code that is uh, while if you are using the computer these are some default code present already here so uh, we have to just ignore that code so let's clear the all code create procedure these all thing Let's clear the default code that is the creating procedure. Let's clear it. Now, apart from that, we have creating compute mode. Compute mode we are creating, creating the function. Begin, turn true. Now, let's clear this. now we are you can see this broker schema this is the broker schema name this is the compute node that is i am creating and if you are creating the compute node you can see the end module we are doing the end module we are creating the function whose name is the main and which is retaining boolean now uh, beginning the function you can see clear this whole thing after that 
where uh, as a function is returning true and the ending the function with the end and this all thing is i have removed the uh, default code after that you can write any code if you want to do that okay just clear it you can see error has been gone there is no error now my message flow setup has been done i have done the message flow setup the i have created the s node integration server node application i have created the application message flow i have created the queue manager and the queue i have i have just uh, now the next step is to deploying the message flow so if you see here i just created the node this eg also and I created the application created the message flow apart from that i have just uh, in the mq input node i have just done the Return the queue name that is the local queue name that is for the sending the message and uh, also the local queue name in the MQ output to getting the message. Okay, in the M in the compute node, I just removed the some uh, default code. I just keep the broker schema thing and the create create compute module and the compute module. If it is creating, then it have just to print the module. Yes, I am creating the function, so I have to end the function. These all things I have left it left it. Okay. Now it's time to deploy the message flow because my next step is to deploy the message flow and after that next step is to testing the message flow. So, so let's if you want to deploy the message flow, there is the uh, two way. Either you can just use the MQSI deploy integration node name minus a application name and uh, this thing you used to deploy the okay okay but we can do it directly uh, do use one thing directly drag and drop this thing to also deploy the message flow so we have to what we have to do we have to just either you have to just click on here itself okay just click on here and there is option deploy deploy click on deploy it will ask to choose the integration server name and just click on finish it will deploy it there is also option just click select it and just select it and and just click here it will deploy it okay but before deploying the message flow we used to follow one more thing that is very important thing if you want to deploy the message flow first we used to prefer the creating the bar file what is the bar file bar file is the broker archive file full form is the broker archive file and this file help us to uh, keep uh, the uh, instead of deploying the application itself uh, or message flow itself uh, we used to deploy the uh, bar file bar file is a file where we used to uh, keep the application uh, and message flow detail in the our local system or the whatever the system you want to select it okay the bar file we used to create the bar file where we keep the all message flow detail in that location and we can deploy that uh, the same thing to the integration server okay so let's create the bar file so if you want to create the bar file just click here in the application and there is a new option go to new and just click on the bar file give the bar file name what you want to create i'm just this is the my first step so i'm writing the same thing here uh, my first step my first app just click on finish now you can see bar file has been created here but before that we have to select here the this bar file is creating for the which application this thing i have to create here so I am creating for the my first step that's reason I have to select it just click on the build and save now my bar file has been builded successfully and just click on ok now just cross it after that you will you are going to see the bar file here itself you can click on here you can see my first bar my first app dot bar this is the bar file and this is present where if you want to see where it is present just click on the this is the location if you see the MQ Explorer this is the application and under that bar file this is the under the bar file this is the uh, 
my file the under this 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 and this is the file that is been created success successfully and this file i am going to deploy it same thing we used to deploy while the creating the mqsi deploy mqsi deploy broker name minus e integration server name minus a this location we used to deploy the message flow okay bar file location now let's deploy the bar file itself just click here and click on deploy just select the eg and just click on finish now you can see it is deploying it is i'm giving a the deployment was unsuccessful check the error message the message flow mq input the first message flow mq input output okay it is giving some error let's see what is the error in the mq input node the message flow mq input the first msg flow and the my first msg flow require okay what is the okay the thing i am getting i have created the integration server but i have not here uh, defined the uh, just one minute in the deploy this 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 this, this, this. because i have this thing the mq input thing this thing uh, the q i n dot local and the out dot local this is not configured in the uh, here itself so it is not getting it okay because our application is not knowing this what is the mq input what, what is this our application is not getting this thing what is this thing so i need to told the application this is the q name and this is the q name and this is present inside this qm1 so see where it is we can see that there is option new integration refresh start no 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 i think okay just one minute okay trace and still your port this is the, okay but i have to configure the port number that i can do configure if i have to configure it i can do any port number one four one four let me write it okay i have configured the port number because integration node should be associated with the queue it is mandatory to associate integration node with the integration server and if you want to launch the debugger for that we need to use the configure the port number that i am currently doing let me do uh, those all uh, these both two things first thing for the uh, if you want to debug it if you need to use to uh, write the port number for the easy uh, for the debugger and also if you want to use the any uh, what you can said any queue from the mq uh, explorer or the queue manager that for that you need to uh, write the integration node name you need to configure the uh, queue manager inside the integration node so let me configure the currently it is starting and stopping so let's wait it to to configure the queue manager with the integration node in till the iv version here the option to configure the queue manager with the integration node but after the 10th version or 11th version here the option has been removed and we cannot add the queue manager and associate the queue manager with the integration node now we have to use the command so let's run the command 
uh, MQ because if you want to use, if you want to use, if you currently I use the MQSI uh, list, let me show you. If I use the MQSI list, it will, let's see what it is showing. You can see integration node, this is currently knowing, but running, but this integration node is not associated with any queue manager. But if you want to use the queue manager with the application, and if you want to uh, use the queue manager with any uh, EG, then if you want to use the queue manager while creating the message flow, then it is mandated to the configure the queue manager with the integration node. And earlier we used to directly do from here itself, but currently this option has been removed from the toolkit. Now you, you can use the same thing using the command. So once it will be, uh, we will configure that it will be showing like that integration node S node with the queue manager QM1 with that mystery where all this is running. This like that. Let's do that. The MQSI change. But before configuring the uh, changing the uh, properties, it is always preferred to stop the integration node. So let's first stop it. MQSI stop uh, and the uh, S node S node. First stop it. After that, we are going to change the property because it is always prefer to stop anything before changing the properties because it may you, uh, be anonymous behavior. It may maybe corrupt the file. It may corrupt the integration server. That is always prefer to stop the anything and do the some configuration change. So currently, I'm going uh, stopping the S node. After the stopping the S node, we are going to change the properties of the S node and we are going to do con some configuration. So let's wait till the uh, stopping the integration node now it is a stopped state now if you do the mqsi list it will be a stopped state now it is a stopped as you can see integration node is stopped now let's change the property mqsi change broker and the broker name that is the is node and the property what I want to choose that I'm, I want to add the queue manager. I want to I want to associate the queue manager with the broker S node. So let's minus Q and the queue manager that is the QM1. That is this, this is the queue manager that I'm going to associate. This is, this is the queue manager I want to associate with the this integration node that is the S node so that we can use the queue and the queue properties and the uh, queue manager for uh, objects with the all the message flow present inside the this node. So let's fire the command. MQ size change property because we are changing the properties. The functionality uh, provided the MQSI is now not available. Is now available using the MQ size change properties command. Okay. Now I have to uh, let's do the MQ list. I think it is not working in the S till the 10th version it this command was working now let's see uh, this command is working not because okay currently in a stop let's uh, let me use this command one more time mqsi change property because uh, i think they have changed the uh, command s node okay minus q and the q m1 Okay. MQS has changed property. Integration node name. Okay. Integration node name object minus B penalty 
ओके हेलो फाइनली आफ्टर लॉट्स ऑफ सर्चिंग ऑन द गूगल क्रोम आई हैव गॉट ए कमांड फॉर यू इफ यू वांट टू करेंटली इफ यू वांट टू चेंज द डिफॉल्ट क्यू मैनेजर दैट इज एसोसिएट विद द इंटीग्रेशन नोड देन यू हैव टू राइट दिस कमांड लेट्स फायर दिस व्हाट इज हैपनिंग लेट्स सी इट द एनीथिंग इफ यू आर if you are struggling if you are getting a stocked in the ibm mq you can follow the ibm mq documentation these all thing will really help you uh, in solving all the problem that is happening in the ibm mq all documentation the uh, current version that is the 12 that is i am that i am currently working for that i have just uh, searched the thing on the google chrome and that uh, i got the thing command that is mq say change property that is the इंटीग्रेशन नोड नेम माइनस ए इन डिफॉल्ट ओके यूजर नेम माइनस बी क्यू यूजर नेम तो लेट्स फायर दिस थिंग एंड लेट्स सी हाउ इट इज वर्किंग फॉर मी नाउ लेट मी राइट माय क्यू मैनेजर नेम इट इज द एस नोड एस नोड माइनस एन डिफॉल्ट क्यू यूजर नेम माइनस बी द क्यू मैनेजर नेम इज आल्सो सेम फॉर मी दैट इफ यू सी दैट क्यू एम1 नाउ लेट्स फायर द कमांड Let's fire the command. Now you can see successful command completion done. This thing, this time it has been done. Now let's see this time. Came QSI list. What is happening? <coughs> the if you are struggling, if you are uh, facing any issue, if you are getting stuck in any issue, let 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 me start it. MQSI start. is node if are uh, stuck any anywhere and if you are uh, uh, getting in trouble while solving the issue and while uh, doing anything okay just go to google and write the what is the very issue and uh, you will get the all the solution okay Sim similarly i have done any this thing also i have just write the code and uh, write the problem on the google chrome and i got the command okay the so already i had, i told in the lecture and everything we are learning so we are we are in the learning phase okay so i am not teaching you i am just we are learning okay so go so let's start let me let's wait for the starting the integration node after that we are going to see what is the Result is happening. After that, we again we are going to do the uh, message flow deploy and the same thing. We are going to test the flow. Okay, and let's wait till the uh, starting the integration node. Okay. Now, if we, now if if you see here, just I have uh, started the integration uh, node. Entity service uh, dependency for the component is not for the installation. This. Installation you can see this is the installation that is the MQ Explorer installation. The period previous the it was this blank and now it is be changed. Once I have run the fire the command the MQSI list you can see the integration node that is the S node with the default QMR QM1 with the administrative URL this is running. Earlier if you see it was like that integration node with the URL this is running. Now it is coming like that. The integration node with the key manager this. Now the, now my integration node is associated with the key manager. And if I use if I use uh, this thing that is the key manager thing, everything, anything, now it will work. Okay. Now uh, currently easy in this topic. So let's start the integrate uh, easy. And after that, uh, let's do the some debugging thing. Okay. now my is also started if you see here now so i have i have configured my queue manager with the integration node i have started my integration uh, eg let's configure the port number uh, any port any number like that i am writing the 
nine two one four any number you can four digit right like that and just click on the it will first stop the integration server and after that it will start integration server and it is configured that okay after that i am going to deploy the my message flow and you can see it is starting the integration node integration server on the integration node s node once it is started after a bit i am going to deploy the message flow okay then let's start it let's wait for the starting it now it is it is configured debugger, debugger will be launched with the port number 9241 yeah it is okay now click on okay okay now first uh, for now terminate the debugger now i have just uh, let me again build and save the bar file if you want to build and save the bar file click on the build and save just click on save it it will build and save the bar file okay now let's deploy the message flow now this time you can see the tax completed successfully and the deployment has been completed successfully now just click cross it now you can see under the integration server we have the application name and uh, we have the we have the application name and under that we have a message flow name okay this time it is something like first easy default application that is first is the first something like coming but we have to ignore that this is my first application and under that we have the message flow and this is the my esql code that is already you can see there is also esql code that is the present in the compute node that is present here okay so what i have done till now i have just created the integration node i have just uh, created the integration server i have created the application under application we have created the message flow name that is the this is the message flow that is the my first msg flow this is the message flow under the message flow i have just because uh, in message flow we need uh, input mq input q uh, Q name so, so that put we can put the message and uh, this Q name in the MQ output too, so that we can get the message for that we need to create the Q manager and under Q manager we need to create the Q that I have done okay after that before deploying we need to do to do two things first thing we need to configure the debugger port that I have done using the just clicking here and the uh, here I have configured it okay and the another thing associate the key manager with the integration node that i have done through the this command that is the mqsi change uh, mqsi change property integration node name minus n default q manager minus b q manager name this is the command i have used to change the default q manager to the q manager qm1 or for the integration node s node after that i have done i have i have, I have uh, uh, build and save the bar file of the my message flow for building say bar file just click on here and you click on ok it will build a bar file okay again we have deployed the message flow for deploying they just click on bar file and just click on deploy it will deploy the message flow okay now my message flow is present inside the integration under integration node we have integration server under integration server we have the app e application under application we have the message flow okay now it is totally ready now till here i have done everything point number one two three four i have done anything now it's time to test by putting the message to test the it is uh, working perfectly or not let's put some uh, breakpoint what breakpoint does breakpoint if if any anything you are going to put here if you are anything you are going to put in this uh, queue it will first come here because here it is a breakpoint it will stop here and after that again it will came to compute node after that again it will stop here and after that it will go to the output that is the out.local so let's put some message into the in.local and we are expecting as per the uh, uh, design we are some message in same message into this local queue we are going to put some message into in.local and we are expecting to get message into out.local as per my design okay now for that let's launch the debugger debugger launching help us in the debugging the message flow and it help us to see what is happening inside the message flow that's reason we used to debugger 
the to put the message we have two thing either you can use directly mq explorer to put the message or either you can use the rfh util to put the message either you can use the rfh util to put the message so we can do anything from anything okay for now i am using the mq explorer to put the message so let's for that just right click on the local queue after that just click on the put text message i am just putting the message that is the hi i am Arishu Tiwari and welcome to my course on IBM S. Just I have thrown the message Hi, I'm Arishu Tiwari and welcome to my course on IBM S. Just put text message. I just sent the message. You can see the debugger has been launched and it is once you click on switch, it will be debugging mode, will be debugging mode will be switched on okay i just clicked on switch and my debugging mode has been on you can see we are in now debugger in debugging mode okay now message my message has been came here once i put the message inside this in dot lo <coughs> once i put the message inside the in dot local as per design it will first came here okay because here it is a breakpoint after that it will go to the through computer it will go to here again it will stop here because it uh, because we have also a breakpoint here so let's move forward okay here we have uh, various uh, <coughs> thing we have to use to debug this is the if you see a resume resume is the move to next point okay terminate is to terminate and uh, a step over is to go to next point okay let us click on a step over you can see once click on a step over it is came to here here you can see their message, local environment, environment and local ex exceptions. These all thing I am going to cover in next session. So you don't need to worry about that. Now it is came to here. After that, once if you click here, it will go to the MQ output node. Okay, just click here. It will go to MQ node. Just see the MQ output node. You can see you are getting the one message and just browse that message. What is the message? If you want to browse the message, just click on browse message. Now you can see same message will be there let's browse the message okay messages came just open the message go to data okay not sure it is blank data length is zero message but if something it is coming blank but if something there is wrong okay so let's do some modification in the code maybe i have to do some modification in the code and it will work okay so let's terminate the debugger and let's some write code inside it output root is equal to input root okay what is coming inside the output and input that's i'm sending to output now let's again build and set the bar file now let's deploy it now let's this time put the message again let's click on higher now let's message has been came let's browse the message now you can see this time high is coming because in the code i have just uh, not reason what what it, it need to do that's reason it was coming uh, like that but i have just now this time i have written what it need to do that's the reason it coming in the in the code i have written what is coming inside the input what is coming inside here just you have to do send it outside 
that's then it is coming working fine so in the code that's thing i have need to write so what is coming inside just send to the outside okay now let's again this time uh, launch the debugger and see what is happening launch the debugger now let's put the message again put text message hi i am rishu tiwari and well come to my course on ibm s okay just put the message now you can see debugger has been launched you switch the in debugging mode now it is switched in debugging mode just go to the it is came to here just go to the if you want to go to inside the compute node you can also go but i don't want to go inside compute node just click on a step over once i click on a step over it will come here now just click on this now it will go to a output and just if i click on here you can see you will get the message you can see there is one message came here in the out if i browse that message you will get the same message i i am resutivari and welcome to my course on ivms you can you are getting the same message in the message data if you, you browse here hi message data is hi i am getting the message okay now it is working fine so we have done everything we have done the creation of node and we have done creating creation of message flow creation of queue major and queue deploying the message flow and finally we have done the testing of the message flow so this is the whole lecture while, while the create, lecture will be little bit uh, lengthy and a little bit uh, big but uh, it will be very much beneficial and it will be very much uh, because i in this lecture i have just uh, created everything from the scratch created everything from the uh, beginning uh, i have because you know i have just done the installation and uh, after that i have done i have done nothing so that's the reason i have just created everything from the scratch while creating the integrations node to the creating the message flow and uh, doing the testing everything okay so hope you have enjoyed this lecture and if you have any doubt if you have any question you can just comment me you can just drop me a mail thank you thank you all We'll meet in you in next lecture. Thank you.